And then we quickly go to behaviors or phenomena occurrences in nature that one requires physics knowledge to explain. One such phenomena that occurs every other time or oftenly in nature is eclipse. You have learned about solar and lunar eclipse. You are amazed by the sun partially or totally disappearing or the moon partially or totally disappearing then that is something physics is going to explain then we have also a phenomena like lightning lightning occurs many times um, that is a phenomena that physics seeks to explain we also have um, a phenomena like rainbow formation yeah it is an amazing the formation of the seven colors um, over rainbow in the sky that one is a phenomenon that physics explain how the seven colors come about and then we have the formation of a mirage that is the apparent appearance of a pool of water on the road on a hot day have you ever been amazed at how that comes about and when you reach that spot where you saw the pool of water there is no water anymore that is a mirage and physics seeks to explain uh, how a mirage forms we have the falling of objects towards the ground any object that is thrown upwards near the ground tends to come back to the ground uh, then we also have Phenomena like seasonal occurrence of tides in the sea, the rising up of a liquid in a drinking straw, the filling of the fountain pen with ink, crackling of soda bottles in a deep freezer, um, and then we also have a crackling sound that is produced when removing a, a nylon cloth from the body and then I know many of us usually wonder how a very heavy machine an aeroplane made of heavy metals and carrying human beings and luggage it's able to take off the ground into the sky the flying of an, aer uh, of an aeroplane or the lifting up of an aeroplane from the runway that is a phenomenon that physics uh, explains.